so um, uh, erythropoietic stimulating agents have been used uh, since well more than two decades in uh, in MDS with a lot of success. Um, the we know that patients uh, with lower risk MDS are the ones who respond better. Not only that, but also the, one, the, the, the most responsive ones are the patients who show very low endogenous EPO level, uh, possibly below 200 units liter. They have normal karyotype and they are not transfusion dependent. In Italy, there have been several studies who, that, that showed that uh, higher doses of, uh, uh, in, of um, administered ESAs can uh, be very effective and more effective than the standard dose. Now, the standard dose is usually thought as 30 to 40,000 units uh, per week. That is much higher than for uh, um, uh, renal failure and for uh, uh, patients who receive it in doing uh, um, oncological therapy and chemotherapy. Now, these patients do respond when they are selected per the variable I just mentioned in 60% of cases. Um, but uh, the patients who receive more than uh, uh, 40,000 or 30,000, so that means 60 or 80,000 units per week, have been reported to have higher percentage of response. Now, for this reason, uh, within the Italian Foundation for the Study of MDS, FISIM, uh, we um, studied and compared in a matched pair, uh, comparison um, the activity of the different doses. And what we found was that, in fact, there were no significant di differences when you uh, match the group of patients treated um, between higher uh, dose or lower dose of EPO. In particular, what we saw is that only patients who had higher risk IPSSR score or the patients who had transfusion independence could indeed have some advantage with higher dose of uh, ESATs. But there was no difference in overall survival. The, uh, so as a matter of fact, hematological improvement was uh, equal in the two groups, no significant difference in overall survival. And therefore, we uh, concluded and, uh, uh, that, that uh, treating with higher dose, unless you really Subselect this uh, small group of higher risk IPSSR transfusion dependent patient is not really uh, of any advantage for the patients. So this is also something quite important that we carried out. And the first uh, uh, the, the first author of the paper we published last year is uh, uh, Enrico Balleari, who uh, um, really carried out a very um, very um, point. Uh, very important uh, statistical evaluation and very precise statistical evaluation for this um, for this analysis.